Hey Shivali, I've heard that some unexplored corners of Singapore have very interesting tales to tell. Stomper Subaru said that blocks of flats at uh, New Tu near Lim Chu Kang have been abandoned for 10 years. But these are no ordinary blocks of flats. They are actually an urban legend. Oh, I see. Well, yes, Stomper Subaru also shared that there's a legend that the king of the banana trees was planted behind the flats and one person wanted to strike a fortune in lottery once, so he prayed at the tree and he threatened the king by putting seven pins into the tree. After he became rich, he ran off and bought a condo and forgot to remove the pins. And so, because of that, the king uh, of the banana tree died and the spirit has since been seeking revenge. After this happened, the block of flats apparently became abandoned. Do you believe this? Wow, it's a tale. I, I don't know if it's even true. Well, Stomper Rachel is wondering the same thing as well. Mm. Uh, she disagrees with Stomper Subaru on the place being haunted or any or having any kind of strange tale like that. She said, as far as she, uh, I understand, this is a restricted zone and probably owned by Mindef. And there are also prominent signs which state a restricted zone along its perimeter. Well, uh, Stomper around the clock said he's one of the residents staying around the area. He said, don't believe, go behind the block and you find a banana tree with seven nails inserted in that tree. While some netizens think that the urban legend is true, others dismiss it as hogwash. Like for example, Stomper Bobulism said, I've never heard about the Banana King tree story before, even when I used to stay around the area in the past. The place was like a central for people staying in the area as there was a wet market, hawker centre, small private shops and even a playground. And the residents staying at Lim Chu Kang were told to move out because the government had plans on the district. It was supposed to be for army training or redevelopment for agricultural purposes. Uh, to add to the discussion on whether Lim Chu Kang is haunted or not, Stomper Mike 3388 said, The Lim Chu Kang area was a war zone before during the Second World War when the Japanese invaded Singapore. There were many mass graves in that area. One of them is just a few hundred meters away from that HDB estate. To be exact, is located at the junction of Sungai Gedong and Lim Tukang Road and it's within the school compound of the former Kewa Primary School. Stomper Miu Miu Babe summed up this debate best. She says that Lim Chukang is a heavily forested area and does not have much modern development and at night the whole Lim Chukang area looks haunted. I believe that might have sparked off the rumour or there might have been some army guys who've actually experienced some weird stuff going around within the building. Well, either way, you know, everybody loves a good uh, ghost story. Well, now that I know so much about this place, it has gotten me all interested and I want to go and check it out myself. Well, wait, hold on, this way before you do that, let's mm. take a look at the Alongs going around troubling not just those who owe them money, but also just innocent Singaporeans.